Hello and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. So if you're a fan of this game, congratulations, it's an amazing game, lots of fun. I can't wait to get started with my duels versus other members of the Yogs cast and my friends around the office. But today we're looking at the 10 new units that you can unlock within the game. So basically, to unlock one of the new units, you have to find a hidden weapon around the map. If you zoom in and stare at the weapon for long enough, you will unlock that unit. So we're starting off on the Dynasty map. Now there is a sword somewhere around the outside. So let's go fishing for a sword. Now it's difficult to see, especially before the battle started, because uh, as you can see, we can't turn our viewpoint. We can only zoom in, zoom out, and go left and right. Well, we can't find the sword on this side, so what we're going to do is we're going to put down some durable units. And now, while these guys are battling, or rather, it's a battle of the bands, I suppose. Run away! <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, you dum-dums. We're going to come around the back and see if we can find this sword. Oh-ho, hello, hello! So if you zoom in on the sword, it'll start to glow. Boom! And it unlocks! And now we have the Shogun! Pretty sweet. So that's the Shogun, the first of ten unlocked. We're going to come back at the end of the video to watch all these bad boys in action, so don't worry about that for now. So that's the Shogun unlocked. Let's see if we can find another. Now, I believe there should be some shurikens on top of the Pagoda. Boom! Unit unlocked the Sensei. I guess this is like uh, the ninja on acid. This guy's going to throw shurikens like no other, I hope, maybe? Okay, so there's one more unit, I believe, hidden around this map. And if memory serves, it's a sword buried underneath the map. Very cunning, very tricky. I don't know how somebody got a sword here, but they did. Let's see what this bad boy is. Ho oh, ho ho! A samurai giant! A freaking giant! Oh man, I can't wait to check him out. Okay, well, that's the three units unlocked on the Dynasty map. So let's come out and go to another map, unlock some more units. Now we're going back to Tribal. Now, they're not always weapons. In fact, sometimes uh, you just have to focus on little trees, like in the Tribal map. So again, we're going to put down some more of these um, bards so that we can have some time to ourselves to kind of just look around the map and find these weapons. And let's go! Battle of the Bands. So the first weapon, I believe, is this little tree right here. You can... Guess which tree it is? Well, I'm looking right at it. It's a tiny little mushroom tree. Doesn't look like a tree All the other trees on this map look like lollipops, except this one. Because this is the cheerleader. Puff! Boom! Unit unlocked the cheerleader. I have no idea what this guy does, but I can't wait to find out. Now, before we continue, you'll be able to see that there's a new tab that's been unlocked down here. It's called Secret, and you can see we've unlocked all of these uh, units that we've already unlocked. So let's take a quick look at the Sensei, the Samurai Giant, the Shogun, and the cheerleader costs 1,000. And I don't, I'm not sure what she does. And we're going to put them all up against three Samurai Giants. Boom. Oh, the cheerleader, look at that. Oh, look at the sensei! Holy smokes, the samurai giants! Whoa! Okay, the sensei is definitely my favorite unit so far. Look at this. Look at this bad boy go! He's even throwing shurikens from behind. Like some trick shots. Fantastic. Okay, let's get back on with unlocking the uh, units then. So the next map with the secret unit is Farmer number one. Farmer one. You can find it up here. Farmer one. Click on it. It'll take you there. We're already here. Fantastic. And it's a little dragon that's hidden underneath one of these trees. Now again, we're going to engage band mode. And take a quick zoom in because unlocking them this way is much, much easier. And you get a good view of the entire weapon. It's a dragon. Now what does this do? It looks like a giant turnip, actually. The Wheelbarrow Dragon! Oh ho! Sounds pretty cool. Can't wait to check it out. Okay, my dude, so the next map we're going to is... End Battle. Medieval number one. This has got the next weapon for us that we can unlock. Right, so the weapon on this map is... I believe it's like an axe stuck into a tree stump. I can't remember which tree stump it is, though. Oh, gotta be quick, though. Those, those bards are kind of falling to their doom. Oh, hello! That looks like an axe! Hello, my friend! Boom, let's see what this unit is. 
the executioner. Ooh, very medieval. Sweet. Okay, let's move on and unlock the next dude. Now, there is one more unit on this map, but if you're looking for a weapon, you definitely won't find this, uh, this secret unit. You actually have to look at a tree, and I believe this is the tree you have to look at. So what kind of unit uses a tree as a weapon? Oh, of course, it's a giant. Right, okay, sweet. Can't wait to see the samurai giant versus the tree giant. Now that is a battle for the ages. Okay, so that's us done with Medieval. I don't believe there's any weapons in Medieval 2 or Ancient 1, but Ancient 2 has, I believe, two more secret units. We've got symbol here. Oh, hello. Looks like a sword. Oh, this is it. Yes. Now, what are you? What unit are you going to be, my friend? The teacher. Ah, so he's like a sword teacher. He kind of looks like um, the guy from Game of Thrones. Teaches Arya some swordplay. Nice. Can't wait to see what he's like. Probably a badass sword fighter. Okay, so the next map that has a secret unit is the Ancient Sandbox. Now, I have it on good authority that the weapon we're looking for is a large kind of two-handed fan. Like, you know how you get like a guy on a throne? being fanned by somebody? Well, that's uh, exactly what we're looking for. Now, hold on a sec. Can we get a bit of appreciation for this map? This is probably my favorite battleground so far. It's nice, it's big, it's spacious, it looks beautiful. Hang on a sec. Is that it? I believe it is. It's red, and there's not much red on this map. The fan bearer. Man, I wonder what, what this guy. Oh, this guy's probably got some wicked sick pushback. I can't wait to test him out. Okay, well, uh, the next map we're going to is Viking 1. We're going to put down some bards, have a fish around, and see if we can find it. Now, this is somewhere in the trees. Uh, and again, finding these weapons is much, much easier when you go into the. when you engage the battle and you can move your camera around. So we're looking for, like, kind of like an axe. Or, a, I guess it's an axe, because this is a, a Viking map. It's probably going to be a Viking unit, and it's somewhere in the trees. I couldn't tell you where, but we will find it. Is it this thing? Is it around here? Oh, oh, yeah, there it is. What is that? It's like a giant stone head. The ice giant. Oh, and I guess he lobs boulders. Holy smokes. So let's count this up. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All ten units unlocked. So we're going to go back to our favorite map, Ancient Sandbox, because that looks pretty cool. And we're going to put some of these units through their paces. So let's see what the fan bearer does to a bunch of clubbers. Is he going to blow them away? Is he going to waft them back? Yeah! Okay, so it wafts people down. That's actually really bad. Doesn't do any damage, it seems. But it is good for keeping units at bay. I wonder if it'll waft back like a giant. No, no! Oh, he found out the hard way. This guy is basically immune to wind. Okay, so let's see what the teacher can do. Here's a couple of teachers. Now, they're only 300, so this I doubt this guy's going to be super amazing. And we'll put him against uh, ooh, some hay balers, because they're pretty passive. Hiya! Okay, yeah. Oh, they are swordsmen. They are just very good swordsmen. Oh, look at that. A fine, a fine thrust. Okay, the next unit. What secret units are we going to try next? 350 for an executioner. Let's see what this guy can do. Three executioners versus three teachers. This should be interesting. Oh, wow, okay. Oh! In the face. Okay, so that pretty much went the way I thought it would go. The executioners are pretty badass. They're like, um, kind of like the, the, the Reapers, the Scythe units. A pretty solid choice. But what does the cheerleader actually do? Let's put two against each other. They move very slowly. Very, oh, they do look very attractive, though. Look at those bow ties. I rate, I rate. Okay, boys, go at it. Guys. Guys. Oh, this is awkward. <laughs> okay. Okay, so the wheelbarrow dragon. Let's see what these guys do. Now, I imagine this is basically like a wheelbarrow with a flamethrower. Let's find out. It is a wheelbarrow with a flamethrower. Those guys killed themselves. 
It's kind of a draw. That's pretty good though. So let's see what a couple of wheelbarrows can do versus um lots of lots of like kind of small melee units. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. What's he doing? He's doing an Ollie. <laughs> what is he doing? What an idiot. Okay, let's try that again. I think that bugged out weirdly. Here we go. Now the flames of war are unleashed. That was terrible. Oh my god. What a piece of trash. Next, secret unit. So we've got the Shogun, the Samurai Giant, the Sensei, the Tree Giant, and the Ice Giant. The Ice Giant is 6,000... 6,000 smackaroos. Let's try an Ice Giant versus a Tree Giant. Battle of the Bigs. I'll give it to you. Bum, 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 bum. Whoa! Oh man, what a punch. What a punch. I do feel like... The Ice Giant's got this one in the bag. He's just got the reach. Look at the length of those arms. This guy's a- this guy's a bad boy. Whoa! Right in the gut. Man, what a haircut as well. Looks like Donald Trump. Let's try the Ice Giant. See how- see how many arrows it takes to bring this guy down. Thump, 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 thump. Oh, he's taken- he's taken a lot of arrows. And he's wondering- he's taking them on one by one. Oh, okay. So he's not that durable. I mean, admittedly, we did use about 6,000 pounds worth of archers to take him down. So the units that we haven't used yet, we've used the Samurai Giant. We've seen what the Sensei can do. He's a badass. In fact, let's try six Senseis versus three Ice Giants. Now, here is a matchup. Oh, the shurikens are going out. Oh, oh, and they're so quick and fast, it's keeping the ice giants at bay. Oof, one down, two down. Oh, yeah, it's lights out for the ice giants. Thump. Pretty badass. These senseis are amazing. The shuriken units were one of my favorite units in the old tabs, so I'm glad they've made a comeback. So what does the Shogun do? This is a 2,000 pound melee unit. I'm expecting big things, but let's put him up against the King. Now this should be open and shut because of the points difference. Oh, he's got a bit of a dash. Oh, he's, he's a slicey and dicey boy. He's a very good melee unit. Oh my god. Bless my stars, this guy's a badass. Okay, so now it's Battle of the Big Boys. Let's see if we can get one, two, three, four, five. Five ice giants versus some of the craziest artillery you've ever seen. So we're gonna go ballistas. We're gonna go obviously catapults. And what else is a good artillery? Hwatches. And some more catapults to bring up uh, the points cost. Oof, not enough space ready for all these catapults. Okay, there we go. Artillery versus ice giants. Chum 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 chum. Oh, look at all those arrows go out. Oh, these guys are going to get wrecked. Oh, they are taking these boulders. They're like a champ. Oof. Okay, a red victory. That's pretty cool. Okay, well, that's where we're going to cut it. This was the new secret unit. Ten of them are available. You've seen all the locations, so go down and hunt them yourself. Unlock them for your game. I'm going to grab a friend uh, and do some 1v1s, and uh, you'll, you'll be able to see that in the next video. Until then, don't forget to subscribe, drop a like, maybe even become a member. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time for some more Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Goodbye.